Hello and welcome to Microsoft Hates Greg. My name is Greg Deckler and today we are going to be talking about Gartner's latest Magic Quadrant for analytics and BI platforms and just how much of an indictment of Fabric's failures it is and frankly vindication for everything that I've been saying on this channel. Now I always know every year when this gets released because my social media feed blow up with certain uh, shall we say, cadre of Microsoft MVPs that post things like, oh my God, Microsoft is absolutely crushing it, yada, yada, yada. Now, I'm not going to name names. Uh, we all know who these folks are. And I always picture them in a cheerleader outfit, you know, waving their little pom-pom, screaming, rah, rah, Microsoft, right? Um, but I don't see that how anyone that is even marginally objective uh, can look at this latest Gartner report and just not immediately recognize just how horrific it is with regard to Microsoft and by proxy fabric. So I'm not sure if these MVPs, uh, not all MVPs, just this group, uh, I'm not sure if they're just lying to themselves or if they are just ignorant, um, not being, or maybe they're being intentionally dishonest or simply just playing their part as the raw, raw Microsoft crowd. I don't know. Um, and maybe you think I'm crazy looking at this report and seeing Microsoft clearly in the lead uh, and saying it's awful, but maybe I'll be able to convince you by the end of this video. Okay, so what's missing, I think, is context, funnily, funnily enough. Um, so let's add some context to the latest Gartner report with the same reports from 2023 and 2022. Now, maybe you noticed it as I flipped through those things, but let me make it explicitly clear what I'm talking about. All right, so here is 2022, 2023, and 2024 Gartner Magic Quadrants um, lined up all right next to each other. Um, so as you can see, you know, Microsoft is up, you know, if you just look at the absolute position, which is probably the wrong way to look at it, but let's just stray into that for just a second. I draw a line here. So obviously Microsoft is losing ground in terms of absolute positioning. Um, with regard to, uh, what is it? Ability to execute, ability to execute, right? And you can also see that their vision, the visionary part portion on the visionary axis, they really haven't gained any ground, which is, I mean, it's no surprise. The only thing that's Microsoft that's been, you know, they've been doing for the last year is smushing two products together into the same UI, right? I mean, it really doesn't add anything to your vision or anything else. You're just smushing two products together into a UI, right? But if you look at the relative position, I think that that's really where it starts to get really bad for Microsoft. And that this great fabric distraction, that, I, that is what I call it, is allowing their competition to really start to eat their lunch. Um, and if I was, you know, their competition right now, I'd be smelling blood in the water as far as Microsoft is concerned. Um, so, you know, you have your pre-fabric, you know, this was the rollout of fabric and now post-fabric and Microsoft's really dropped off. Right, this group right here has, has really started closing the gap on Microsoft in terms of ability to execute. And Microsoft is, is flailing in this regard, right? Um, so, I mean, I think, you know, you'd note, I mean, if you look at this thing, right, you only had Microsoft, Salesforce, and Click. There were three, there were three, and now all of a sudden there's six people in the leader quadrant, right? And they're all closing this, this, this gap with Microsoft. And I really think it's because of Fabric. Um, because Fabric has been such a distraction to Microsoft. You know, they were doing much better when it was just two separate products and they could innovate quickly with those two products. You know, Power BI could innovate quickly and, you know, Synapse could innovate quickly. Um, and now they've just, you know, totally turned their focus. And now, I mean, they're not even keeping up with the feature sets in Synapse, right? There's like 11 pages of limitations. Um, but let's take a look, closer look really about what is it? What does ability to execute mean? Right. So in Gartner's terms, build to execute products and services, core goods and services. Right. This has really suffered. Right. I've covered numerous times on this channel that Microsoft just is unable to get preview features out, you know, to GA within Power BI. It's fallen off by like half in 2023 and 2024 um, and 2022, to be quite frank, the end of 2022, especially um, overall viability, sales execution. Right. Who's buying fabric? I mean, I covered this in another video of mine. It's like, you know. The premium customers, they they already paying, they were already paying for it, right? And they're okay, now they're gonna pay a little extra, very, you know, 
I, eh, it depends on how you look at it. If they're using, you know, SQL um, Server or Power BI reporting services, they're going to pay a lot more uh, for the same functionality. Um, market responsiveness. I think the market responsiveness to Fabric has been pretty, not only maybe you could characterize it as poor, um, but even maybe even worse than that. Um, marketing execution. I think Microsoft has flubbed the Fabric marketing just beyond repair, um, in my opinion. Uh, customer experience is terrible with Fabric. Um, with all the limitations, performance problems that have been had, you know, basically, hey, customer, you're going to pay more for the same functionality. Sorry about your luck. We're tying your premium SKUs, your P SKUs. I mean, it's been a debacle uh, in terms of, in my opinion, the entire fabric from the original announcement all the way through to today. All of this ability to execute has just been at best subpar. Right. And maybe you agree with me, maybe you don't. But Again, I go back to this. Gartner obviously sees it, right? I'm not the only one that sees it, right? Gartner also sees it. That Microsoft's ability to execute has fallen off significantly. Um, and the only, the only explanation is what Microsoft's been doing for the last year, which is basically in this space has only been fabric. Um, now, so I guess that's, you know, that's it. I mean, the fabric has deeply wounded Microsoft's ability to execute. That is what this. That is what this says. Um, that is what Gartner says, in my opinion. Um, now, the interesting thing to me about this is, if I was going to watch somebody, you know, as far as Pyramid Analytics, I mean, look at Pyramid Analytics back in 2022. They were a niche player, okay, and they've already moved up. They're sitting out here with a completeness of vision similar to Tableau and Salesforce at the same level of Tableau and Salesforce, and they've moved moved up to visionary status. Right within two years, while Microsoft just has lost ground. That is the kind of stuff that Microsoft's competitors are doing, and that's the kind of movements they're making in this in this space. Whereas Microsoft is just they this distraction with Fabric is is just killing them. Um, as far as you know, Gartner's concerned, as far as I'm concerned. Um, so there you have it. I mean, the other thing that I think that this doesn't capture very well is. A lot of people's data analytics and, and business intelligence platforms are, you know, Snowflake and Databricks and at scale. Um, I guess since they don't have a reporting component, you know, to their products, then, you know, they, they can't be included in this report, according to the, the, uh, the rules for Gartner, I guess, in this report. Um, but I think, you know, I don't think Microsoft's making up any ground there either. Um, and they've been losing in that space for a long, long time. So there you have it. That's my opinion. That's all I had for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time.